Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, my name is Kelsey. Welcome. Thank y'all for um, clicking on today's video. I hope before you leave that you'll consider hitting that subscribe button. Give this video a like and leave some comments down there for me. Let me know that you're new. Um, today I'm going to be showing y'all just a little bit of kind of how I disinfect my kids room slash the guest room. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. So I said in my intro, um, my kids room slash guest room, and I say that because let's face it, my kids do not sleep in their room anymore. Ever since my husband went to annual training and came home, they have been in my bed. And so that is why y'all see that this uh, queen size bed is now in my kids bedroom. And we put a king size bed in my room so that we can all just sleep in there comfortably and get the maximum rest that our family can have. So I'm gonna start with stripping the bed. I'm gonna get those sheets washed and I did that on day one. It is now the next day and they are clean and dry. So I'm gonna take my Jaws disinfectant spray and I'm gonna wipe all of the doorknobs, the surfaces, the light switches, all of that good stuff. And I'm gonna get that disinfected and then I'm gonna spray the disinfectant spray on the bed so that it can dry before I put the sheets on there. And I think um, I might go a little overboard with doing this, but I do try to clean really well in between having guests at our home. Um, even though, you know, we had family come visit here recently and that's why I'm disinfecting. And even though they are not uh, sick or not even probably exposed to the virus, with the Delta variant of COVID, you can really just never be too safe with the unknown and all of that stuff. So I wanted to give it just a good cleaning and I do clean in between any guests that comes. Um, but especially now with COVID being back on the rise, I want to make sure that I'm disinfecting because I never can be too safe um, for myself and my family. So that is what I am doing. I'm gonna spray my pillows spray the bed down, let that dry, and then we're gonna get the sheets put back on the bed. I did wanna to mention too, um, the cleaner that I'm using or the disinfectant spray, whatever that I'm using for this room is the Jaws disinfectant. And with that one, you can spray it and let it sit for a little while and then um, it technically disinfects that way. You can also spray it and wipe it off however you wanna do it. So usually what I do whenever I'm like cleaning stuff and trying to disinfect with that spray, I will use it, spray it and like wipe it off, wipe the surface or whatever and then give it another little spritz and let that sit for a bit um, to let it disinfect really well. So I'm showing y'all here, this little sheet has a tag on it and it says top or bottom. And I just thought that that was like mind blowing. I had no idea that sheets put that on there. And I think that that is a genius thing to do <laughs> because um, I always struggle. Like I'll put the sheets on and then I have to take them off because I didn't get it um, put on the right way and then it doesn't end up fitting. So y'all check your sheets and see, do y'all have the same um, little tags in there? Because I never knew that mine had those until now. Um, so that's super, super helpful. So while I am getting the comforter put back onto this bed in this room, I want to ask y'all your opinions on the COVID vaccination. Um, I don't really want this to be like a debate or anything like that. I want everybody to keep it respectable in the comment sections, um, respect what other people have to say, but I'm just very curious. Um, 
Personally, I have not gotten the vaccine. I am currently breastfeeding my daughter um, and she has recently turned one. And so she is kind of in the process of like self weaning, but I don't feel like there is enough research um, for me to feel comfortable getting it while breastfeeding. So I know that some newer research has recently come out with it and they are saying that it's totally okay to get it. Um, but like I said, I just want to get y'all's opinions. You know, do y'all feel comfortable getting it? Do you not feel comfortable getting it? Um, y'all let me know because I'm interested. And if you have any reliable sources that has research on it, I would love for y'all to link that down in the comments because I would love to um, give that a read. Now I'm gonna be in the bathroom and given this room a good disinfect and given it all clean, um, I have wiped down the mirror and I did use my Jaws uh, glass cleaner. I love, love, love that glass cleaner. It's the only one that I have found that does not leave any streaks. Um, but now I'm going in with the Jaws disinfectant and I just sprayed the countertop off. I'm gonna give the sink a quick wipe down and then we are gonna do the toilet as well. So now that the toilet is wiped down, the countertops are wiped down, I'm going to go ahead and finish up this room. I'm gonna disinfect any surfaces that would be touched. So the cabinet doors, the um, drawer pulls, the doorknobs, the light switches, all of that good stuff. I wanna make sure that they are disinfected so that there are no germs getting stuck to mine or my family's fingers that could be residual from visitors that we have had. For the last task in today's video, I am taking my Jaws disinfectant spray and I am spraying the floor um, and I just let it sit for like two seconds, um, but I'm taking my Swiffer Wet Jet and I'm actually using a pre-wet cloth for this and I'm just going to give the floor a quick mop and then that's really going to be it. Um, I feel like that takes care of it, you know, in the areas where we have guests at that my kids also go in so if you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys in my next video thank y'all so so much for watching bye